let me start by showing you the items that I'll be using. Everything that I have here is from the Dollar Tree. First item I'm going to show you is the potting soil and also a planter trolley. This is really nice. It has wheels here on the back. It's absolutely perfect for what I'm needing. Also one of these small planters. Some of these multicolor stones. A garden stepping stone. Some acrylic paint. And this is in the color pewter gray. And just an old um, painting brush that I have. A glue gun. And also some of these treat twigs that I picked off off the ground. And a piece of ribbon and a black Sharpie. I'm also gonna use some reindeer moss, a spray bottle with water. Okay, my beauties, that is it for all of the items that I'll be using for this Resurrection Garden DIY. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start by painting my garden stepping stone. And I'm gonna just paint it all. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll turn it over and then I'll paint the back side. While my stone is drying, we're going to now continue to the second part of this DIY. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my potting soil and I'm going to fill this as much as I can. It is going to be a bit messy. Now the reason that I got the Dollar Tree potting soil, for one, because I wanted this DIY to be all Dollar Tree, but the other reason is because this potting soil seems to be perfect for what I'm needing. I need it to be kind of clayey and kind of hard. And so as you can see, it hardens up right away. Versus the better potting soil, it just crumbles up right away. So I needed one that kind of sticks like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the small planter and I'm gonna put it into the soil. Now I'm gonna get some more of the potting soil and this time I'm gonna try to pack it around the planter. What I wanna do is I want it to look like a little cave. This is the resurrection garden. So we know, for those of you that know in the resurrection, Jesus came out of the tomb. So that's what I'm basically trying to create is a tomb. I want to disguise the planter as much as I can. And just by pressing, it does seem to stay. Okay, so we've now created our tomb. Okay, now that I've packed my planter in there nice and neatly, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with some plain water just to make sure that it stays in place and just so that it won't move. So I'm just gonna give it just a few squirts of water and kind of pack it down some more. I'm going to let that set for a bit and then I'm going to continue on with my stepping stone and paint the other side before that we proceed with the next step. The camera shut off before I even started showing you that I'm going to start now adding some moss to my tomb. Next, I'm going to move on to my mixture of rocks. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to form a little path using these stones. The next thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to make crosses out of these twigs. Okay, so it's time to hot glue my cross together, just like that. And so I have all three of my crosses. I decided to add a piece of twine to the center of the cross. So I'm just going to cut a small piece and start here in the back. And now I'm ready to start adding my crosses. And there are my three crosses. And now I want to put some of this ribbon around the main one, which of course represents where Jesus hung on the cross and how he is no longer there and has risen. I'm gonna add a piece of white ribbon just coming across. Okay, so this is the cross that represents where Jesus was crucified. And so now I'm going to stick this cross right there in the center. Okay, my stone is dry already and I went ahead and I got my Sharpie marker and I wrote in, He is risen. And now it's time for me to place my stone next to the tomb and I'm just going to press it down into the soil. But they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. 1 Peter 1, 3. Okay, my beauties, that is it for this Dollar Tree DIY. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also share. You have yourself a blessed day and I will see you on my next video. So bye-bye and God bless.